Hey guys, my name is Matt Hernandez, and today we're doing team and individual sports portraits. Okay, so we're out here on a bright sunny day, no clouds at the soccer field. A lot of people would try to light this with the sun, which that's fine, a little bit boring. Um, a lot of people would turn the players around, which I did to have the sun kind of behind them, edge lighting them, but they wouldn't use a light, also boring. I wanna show you how to quickly and painlessly create some drama with adding in a little bit of lighting. So we had four FJ 400s, we had two seven foot umbrellas to light them from the front. Those are our two key lights. They're silver interior, so they're, they're specular. They've got a high output. I left the seven inch reflectors on the FJ 400s to get a little bit more power. And then we had two edge lights, also FJs, that had the deep focus reflectors on them. All four lights are on full power. Now I'm shooting with the Sony A1. This is the 7200, which I use for the individuals, and then we use the 24 to 70 for the team. So that one I wanted to go wide, so I get a little bit closer. We had to pull the backlights back so they're just barely out of frame. Again, I, I didn't necessarily have to use those because there's no clouds, so the sun, it's about, about 3.30, 4 o'clock, so the sun, I could have used that as my edge light, and that would have worked great, but I wanted to add an even amount on both sides and add a little bit more of a dramatic look. So we pulled those just out of frame. I was shooting at 24 millimeters. I put the camera, I have a mirrorless camera, which allows me to flip the screen out, put the camera all the way down on the ground to get a good heroic view so the girls look big and tall and strong. Um, you know, so we, we, had, we had them come in. I, I had the light set beforehand, had the lighting dialed in. Everything, like I said, was on full power. I was shooting at F11, shutter speed of 1 400th of a second, which on the Sony A1 allows me to not have to use high-speed sync. Now, the good thing about the FJ 400s are you can have high-speed sync, so you can go over the camera's normal sync speed, so you can, I could have underexposed the sky even if I, had to sync it one two fiftieth of a second or something like that with a different camera. The one four hundredth of a second was enough because I went down to ISO 50 so I could, that was F11 ISO 50 so that allowed me to have enough power coming in that I didn't have to enable high speed sync so I could save a little bit of power there. But, um, but you can absolutely do that with these lights if you need to, that's, that's one great thing about them. So once you, get, once you get the light set, you bring the kids in, pose them real quick. My tip for posing is that I try to make all the players, at least the players beside each other, do something different. So like if you're gonna cross somebody's arms, you don't want two people consecutively crossing their arms. Okay, we had six girls, so I basically put them in one row and then had three, the three shorter ones, step forward about a half step and the other three a little bit behind them. So I had them staggered and then I turned them all opposite ways, had them either you know pick from hands on the hips, one hand on the hip or crossed arms. I had the one in the middle holding the ball, make sure the logo's straight, that's always, easy to overlook whenever you've got a ball like that you might make sure the logo straight make sure everybody's shoes are tied and everything hair's good so we had the moms come in and make sure the hair was was nice and straight and after that it takes about honestly about a minute so we did smiling and serious both you know just make sure they're standing up straight and you're good to go as long as they're looking at the camera you're going to get a nice well-lit dramatic portrait where you can underexpose the sky and it really turned out great. We're gonna show you the picture without any editing, any adjustments, just so you can see how good and how much these lights can add to your photos. Okay, so now once we've got the team picture done, we're gonna move on to individuals. So I always do the team picture first, or I try to. That way, when the kids are done with their individuals, they can leave. Now, if you're shooting multiple teams at once, that helps get it done a little bit quicker too. Sometimes you have to start individuals and then move to the team. In that case, it helps to have enough lights to be able to have both setups ready to go. So in this case, I had two for the individual, four for the team, so that would have had to have been six lights. Now, you don't have to do it like that. That does save time, so that's how I do it. But you, you absolutely don't have to. You just gotta, you, they have to wait while you're moving stuff around, which, you know, that adds time to your shoot. You just gotta do this stuff quickly, so you have to think about that. That is a factor. So when we shoot individuals, sometimes I do shoot with my 24 to 70. Depends on the circumstance and where I'm at. Today, I switched to the 70 to 200, and I shot at 2.8 and I did enable high speed sync for those. So I wanted to make the background nice and dark, but I wanted to shoot shallow. So I, I could have just put the trees in the sky behind them, it would have been fine. I could have underexposed the, the blue sky and made it look cool. But I wanted to add some depth because I had something available, the soccer goal. So we had the net, so that's why I put, I went into the goal, shot with the sun behind them. So it's again gonna act as your second light. Now I did have a rim light on with a deep focus reflector to start, 
but I ended up turning it off because I didn't need it. I turned, I took one, a couple frames with it from the first girls individuals and then I turned it off to see and it honestly looked just as good without it. So I turned it off because I didn't need to use the battery for it. Honestly, there was no, really not a whole lot of benefit to it. So I turned that off and only used one light. We had the medium octa with no diffusion and a deflector plate in the middle. So we get a little bit higher output. The diffusion, when you add that to a light, it makes the portrait softer and spreads out the light a little bit, but you do lose power. So on a bright sunny day like today, where there's no clouds, you want as much power as possible so you can underexpose the sky if that's the look you're going for. I wanted all the power I could get, so I stripped that off. It still looks really good. So I shot, I usually don't do full body. I shoot about the knees, maybe a little bit above the knees up. Had, her, had them pick between the poses. I had some poses to show them and I had told them to pick whether they wanted to smile or be serious, then pick a pose. I showed them the spot to be in. And that was it. It was super easy. It took about 10 minutes for about six girls. I could probably honestly have gone a little bit quicker if I wanted to, but uh, if you if you do it like that, you know it's it's relatively painless and and uh, and you're done in no time. If you're struggling with team pictures or you want to stand out, this is a great way to do it because you're going to add in light. A lot of people are lazy and they don't want to do that. A lot of photographers, so they're scared of it. But this is going to give you a different look, underexposing the sky and adding to that dramatic look. You want to make these kids look like they're going to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated or ESPN the magazine. And if you shoot natural light, that's just not going to be the case. So that's going to give you a leg up on your competition and help you stand out. That's what I do for just about every team portrait session that I do outside for anywhere from K through 12. If you're struggling with team portraits and you want to stand out or have a different look, then you should definitely consider doing this, adding lights into it with that dramatic feel underexposing the background. Most people these days are either too lazy or afraid of lighting. This will definitely give you a leg up on the competition. Thanks so much for watching.